Welcome back. We are here with spouse number eight, Daichi. And actually, fun fact, Daichi was part of our last Let's Play. He was Colin's father. He was with Josephine. Um, he's also someone else's father. Is it Wells? Anyway, they were twins, but I only remember Colin. So um, that's what happened there. And so check out that Let's Play, let's play if you want to see Daichi again. But... I think that was the university generation, if you are looking for it. So anyway, we've invited Star over. And Star is actually Daichi's daughter. He's a vampire, so he lives forever. So it's normal that his daughter is the same age as him. And uh, she's his daughter. And so he actually invited her to move in so that I wouldn't have to keep chasing after her. So we are going to have Luna work on getting closer to Star here. Luckily, Star didn't have any children, and uh, except Star's sister has three kids. That'll be interesting for us. So we are here trying to get in Star's good graces, and I don't, I don't think she likes us very much. <laughs> I mean, she didn't like us very much in the first place, but. Um, you know, we're just doing the best we can here. We're just going to whittle away at her until she finally decides to marry us. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so Daichi is proposing. Luna can't propose because she's sad because she just killed Rocio. But that's okay. We're going to get married real quick here. And she's embarrassed. I don't know why she's embarrassed. But the kids are, are liking their future stepmom. So that's good. These two are getting married. And then, actually, I was thinking that I wanted them to try for a baby. Oh, this is when I realized that despite the fact that I locked the door, people are still going down there. So I might as well just not lock it. Anyway, um, I wanted her to have a baby with Daichi. I haven't decided yet whether I'm just going to have her have babies with all of the people who she marries who can impregnate Sims, but I don't know. I, it's, it's, I think if our household size allows for it, we will. I mean, honestly, we really don't have the room right now, but I don't know. I just want to. I feel like it, it matters because... Daichi was already in the previous Let's Play, and I think it'll be fun to have another kid with him. So, I'm sorry, Ralph, but I think that means that we're going to have to kill you <laughs> just to make some room in the household, because the next Sim that we're going to move in for the next video has two children already. She actually has three children, but one of them is going to become a teen soon, so he can live on his own for a little while, and since I have lifespan on short, I'm not really worried about that I also have teen romance on so I mean Luna could rob the cradle if it comes to that but we'll see what happens it is short lifespan so this kid has plenty of time to become an adult and you can see so here I'm trying to get them to have a baby or try for a baby at least but they're protesting. They're like not, yeah, here's me checking out the kids and then checking to see that kid is turning into a teen in one day. And we still have to make it through two spouses to get to that. So I think that it'll be okay. Um, anyway, I was like, why aren't they trying for a baby when I tell them to? And it's tough because they're just standing there and I'm like, what's wrong? Why aren't you doing this? So I removed her sad buffs and I was like, okay, now do it. Do what I tell you to. And they're still not. They're still not doing it. And I realize now it's because there's a bully coming to be mean to Daichi. Oh, she kicked him. She knocked him on the ground. She beat him up. And she told him he's a loser. And look at him. He's in such rough shape now. Who's that person? Uh, anyway, so now that that is complete, we can try for a baby. I guess uh, what's happening was that action was just getting queued up and I kept trying to interrupt it. So anyway, uh, Daichi's looking kind of rough, but we are going to try for a baby. I have decided, and I will not let you 
deter me. The kids are off to school as well. But here we go. Yay, try for baby. And then after this, we'll have to um, start getting closer to Star here. We don't really have a great relationship with her already. So we need to improve that. We also need to paint her portrait. So we're going to have her come downstairs. We'll try and multitask. And yes, Luna is pregnant. I do have try for baby set to 100%. So that's never really a question. It's always just a double check that I do. So we will have her and Star talking to each other while the painting is happening. And oh, look at how rough he looks. Okay, he's having a bad day. But, you know, he's having a baby. So even though you're sad you got beaten up, you should be happy that there is a baby in your life. So um, they're just chit-chatting, trying to get to know each other better. My money trees are still babies, unfortunately. And uh, everything is going as planned here. And then I get the death music. And Daiichi is like limping outside. Everybody is crying. The Grim Reaver is already here. <laughs> no. Daiichi got hit by a car. And he's on fire because he's a vampire and he's not sun resistant. We just sent him outside. And oh my gosh. Daiichi got beat up and run over by a car on the same day. And we haven't even cheated on him yet. This is totally ruining the order of operations here. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, Luna, go finish your picture. Um, okay. Daichi is dead. We never cheated on him. He, uh, okay, we're still going to count him. Because they were married. It's fine. We're counting it. You know, if they have a picture on the wall, their urn is going there. <laughs> no exceptions. Um, all right, so... Oh my gosh, okay. Also, it's almost the baby's birthday, which is good because we're about to have another baby and I don't want too many toddlers in my life. Also, I should have changed her outfit before I did this picture of her, but you know what? I don't care. Daichi died. <laughs> oh my gosh, he died. <laughs> oh man, okay, let's go get his urn. Move it down here. Unfortunately, I can't do the, the thing without being in build mode. Um, okay, well... Look, our wall is full. This is great. Our wall is full of portraits. I love it. Next time it'll be full of urns as well. And we will move across the way to the next wall. So I'm really excited about that. It shows some very tangible progress on our part. We've gone through eight spouses. And we are going to age up our baby. So here we go. Maddie is going all the way outside to age up. And also we're going to age up Everett as well. Just because we'll be getting rid of Ralph soon. And, um, you know, we need a picture of Everett. I was considering getting rid of Everett as well. If we needed to move in all three of the next person's children, we won't have enough room in the household. But I think since the other child became a teen, we will be able to just move in two of the children. That, that's my assumption, because teens can live alone, so I'm hoping that's how it works out. If we can't, if we do have to move all three of the children in, in the next video we're going to have to kill Everett to make some room. So I'm sorry, Everett. He actually looks good. Whose child is Everett? I forget. <laughs> Whose kid are you? Is it Rocio's kid? I can't remember. Okay, well, anyway... This is where we're at. We're moving this picture down here and uh, starting the dinner party because we never did that. And Daichi died. Um, so yeah, like I said, we're going to do two urns on a shelf down there and I'm going to put the picture with the urn. So that is pretty good. Also, we like barely know Star and we were supposed to be already being romantic with her. So we're going to have to hurry that up. And also everyone's hungry, so we might as well serve the buffet and get some food in them. I do take care of their needs every once in a while, depending on the mood that I'm in. So there's that. They are just going to get closer here. She's sad. Obviously, her father died. And what else? Yeah, she's hungry. So let's call everyone to a meal, except for Luna, because she'll get sick if she eats human food. So look. Oh, there are my boys. And here's my girl. The kids are very cute. Um, even though not all of them are actually Luna's children, she's their most of the stepmother anyway. 
I mean, she is their stepmother. There's not most of. Um, she's their stepmother. So she has a responsibility in a way. They are her children. And their pictures will go in the basement. <laughs> so that's where we're at. And, oh, he's really thirsty. Oh, he's a vampire now. Everett's a vampire. Um, Ralph is a spellcaster. Everett's a vampire. Maddie's a vampire. And whatever baby she's going to have will also be a vampire because both her and Daiichi were vampires. So that's how math works. Um, all right, lots of vampire urns everywhere. I mean, we are in Forgotten Hollow. <laughs> Let's just be clear. Once we start going to some of the other neighborhoods, it will, you know, even out a little bit more with with regular sims. Right now we only have one regular sim urn in the basement and it's Paxton's. So that is really something. And yes, here we are. We are getting romantic. We are now romantic enough, which is good. We're not going to actually like make a real move. So um that's that's going to be for the next one because this video is is already getting long. I'm trying to keep my videos under 20 minutes, so sometimes I go on different speeds. But anyway, uh, she's pregnant with twins, and that's absolutely a no for me. <laughs> we really do not have enough room in our household if she has twins, so I'm just going to change it. She's now only having one baby. Um, yeah, we, we do not have room for that. Do not, not, not have room. Okay, so we do need to get rid of of Ralph here in order to move in three more Sims and have a baby. So we just fed him a poison apple. I guess it doesn't come into effect right away. So he's like, ah, yes, I just ate a poison apple. Let me go work out. You know, I could have sworn I replaced that thing with mirrors. Anyway. Um, yes, goodbye, Ralph. I'm not as attached to him as I was attached to Paxton. But um, I am happy to have a second urn on that shelf. And the Grim Reaper's like, why am I here so often? <laughs> so anyway, like I said before, I don't even need the red shelf. I'll just use the nine key and take care of it. So there it is, just making sure it lines up. Perfect. There is Ralph. And he is right next to Paxton. So, you know, there we go. We are now into screenshots. And uh, Daiichi, our marriage was short-lived, but <laughs> uh, thank you for at least, you know, providing some baby stuff. So goodbye, Daiichi. Goodbye, Ralph. Both of them are, are gone now. And in the next one, we will be doing spouse number nine, which is going to be Star there. And we're going to move in someone who has children. So that'll be interesting. Way too many kids wandering around the house. There, there's um, Everett. And I will catch you guys next time.